Hi, this is Melanie from Hook to the Left and welcome back to the Stitch Study series. Today we are going to be learning the front and back post stitch. So let's go ahead and get started. Thank you for joining us again today for the Stitch Study series and we will be continuing on with the front and back post stitch. This is what it looks like. Now I actually worked this up into a pattern. Um, so we're gonna do um, some, th these are treble front impact post but stitches. And then we will do a couple of rows of double. And then again, the treble, a couple rows of double. And then the, again, the treble front impact post st stitches. And we will be using worsted weight yarn. If that's actually, we're good, what we're gonna do is continue on with the same weight of yarn that you have been using for the rest of the Stitch Study series. I've been using worsted weight yarn, specifically Mainstays Basic Yarn um, from Walmart. That's the Walmart brand, which is very similar to Red Heart Super Saver. I feel like it's a little bit softer. Uh, you will also need a yarn needle, darning needle, um, basically, this is to weave in your ends once you snip them off after you finish with your project. These are my favorite darning or yarn needles, or they call them here wool needles. And I have them linked down below if you're interested. I like them because they have a flexible eye, but yet still a thin shaft. And that way I can work them through, through almost any of my projects and have no problem feeding the yarn through the, the um, eye of the needle. You will also need um, a pair of scissors. These are a pair of traveling scissors that I got in my Be Crafty crochet kit. Um, I got it actually as a gift a while ago and I will also have that link down below in case you're interested but these fold up really nice and they are part of the kit. And finally um, you will need a hook. Um, for me since I'm using the worsted weight I'm and for all of my projects I've used this 5.5 millimeter hook. This is a clover hook. Again, this is one of my favorite hooks. Um, and also this will be linked down below if you would like to check them out. Um, these are very soft, a nice ergonomic handle and very soft uh, uh, um, needle part or hook part, I guess. And it, the yarn really glides across it very easy. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with our project or our stitch study. So I am going to go ahead and get things started, assuming that you already know how to do a slip knot and chain stitches. And then from there, I am going to pretty go quickly, a little bit more quickly through this um, tutorial because I'm assu also assuming that you know how to do the treble crochet and the double crochet. If you do not know how to do any of these, please take a look at the other stitch studies in the series and you will find out how to do these other ones. Um, so let's go ahead and do our slip knot. And then I am going to chain 25 plus 2. Um, I like to have my um, all of my squares in the stitch study series go across by um, by 25 and then the plus 2 is to bring up my yarn for the next row. It's the chain for the up 2 for the next row. So one, two, three, four, five, four, twenty-five, one, two. Okay, so now we're at the end of our chain row, and what we're going to do in the first row is we are going to double crochet on the first row. That's going to get the the row the starter row for your post stitches. So. Um, so I've already did the plus two. I'm gonna go ahead and yarn over and go to the, make sure you don't twist your foundation chain, which I was just doing. Um, <laughs> so go into the third chain from the hook. Okay, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so now I've got one, my chain and then one double crochet stitch. So yarn over, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, 
pull through two, yarn over, go into your chain, and then pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then pull through two, yarn over, and go through the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then pull through two, yarn over, go into your chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then pull through two. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a double crochet in each of your chain links. I will go ahead and meet you up at the end and we'll do the last couple together. Welcome back and I am to almost to the end of creating my double crochets on top of my uh, chain uh, row. So let me go ahead and do the last two. Yarn over, go through the chain on the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Last one for this row. Yarn over, I put my hook through the last chain, yarn over, and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two, and that is it for the first row looks a lot like another uh, project that you done where we did the double crochet, which I will link up here somewhere. And now is where you're going to start to see some texture. Um, a couple things I want to note about a post, ter post stitch. What I'm going to show you in this is very popular. Well, it's a, with the, if you do this with a double crochet, it's very popular to use as a pattern to make cuffs for either your hats or your um, uh, sweaters or something like that. It's very popular for cuffs. It's a little bit better with a double crochet because you get a lot less of this kind of loopy stuff going on here. <clears throat> of course, that just may be me um, and the way I do my double crochets, but our, our treble crochets in a post work. But uh, yeah, it, it's still really neat. Um, you'll see that it's got a lot of texture on this and uh, it is a yarn eater so if you're wanting to do some scrap uh, scrap busting then this would be a great way to eat up some of that extra yarn that you may have okay so um since these are a uh, treble cro even though these are treble crochets i'm doing it as a post stitch so with that in mind the way that i created this pattern is you will find um that doing a treble crochet front and back post it, it's almost like doing as as far as the height of it it is like a double crochet so when i chain up to get the height i usually i only not usually i only chain two one two whereas with most treble crochet projects if it wasn't a front and back post um stitch then i would chain three for a treble crochet anyway i'm going to go ahead and flip my work so just like uh, if we were working into the stitches, the top of the stitches, we do not do anything with this first stitch here. That is, you're chaining up from that and that's considered your first stitch of this row. So everything that you do is from your second stitch all the way to your second to last stitch. Okay, second to last stitch. Now um, we're gonna take a look at the anatomy of a stitch again. Um, so that you can understand when we talk about post stitches versus loop stitches. On a stitch, a singular stitch, right here, this is your post, okay? When you look down on the stitch, you see the V, and these are your front and back loops, okay? So again, this is your post, right here. This is your front and back loops. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with a front post, post stitch, then we're gonna do a back post stitch, then a front, then a back. So as we go all the way down this row, we're gonna be alternating between front and back post stitches. Okay, so for a front post stitch, we're gonna do a treble. So that means we gotta yarn over twice. And instead of putting our hook through here, we put our hook behind the post of the stitch, 
like so. We yarn over and then we pull up the loop. So you've got four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Okay, so we're gonna yarn over twice. And now we're gonna do a back post stitch. So we go behind our work, pull the hook into next to the stitch that you're working, then go over the stitch and go back through your work, yarn over, pull up a loop. So you've got four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and finally yarn over and pull through two. So let's go ahead and do, and you see where the texture's starting here. And it's looking a little wonky, but as you get going, it starts to really, um, you can feel that texture and, and uh, really understand what it's doing here and why, why people like to use this for the cuff work. Um, so let's go ahead and do another front post. So yarn over twice since it's a treble. Then put your hook under, through, in between your two stitches, your third stitch, and your fourth stitch, and then go up under the post of that stitch, yarn over, I almost missed the hook, I mean missed the yarn, pull up a loop, so now you have one, two, three, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Now, the front and post stitch is used a lot. Um, it's used along with the, the front and back loop stitches, but this is used a lot in cabling. So just keep that in mind um, as you're looking at cabling work. If you are interested in doing something, this is a stitch that is primarily used for cabling. It does, it's a lot more complex in a cable stitch. You have to cross it and stuff like that. But, uh, that, but in essence, it's the front and back post stitches that you're gonna be doing. Okay, so let's do another back post stitch. Yarn over twice since it's a treble. Then put your hook down behind your work and go in between the two stitches. And then go over your post and in between the next two stitches. Yarn over, pull through. Oh, I have to do that all over again because I missed that yarn. So yarn over twice, go in between the two stitches, or I'm sorry. I, I was about to do a front post. Let me do that again. So I yarn, yarn over twice, then go behind your work and in between the next two stitch, the last stitch and the next stitch. Then put your hook in between the two, st the next stitch and the next stitch after that. So the two stitches, and then pull up a loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. Okay. Now yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So let's do another front post stitch. And I'm gonna do this uh, a, a few more times with you um, before we can, I let you go on with the row. And then um, I'll do it again, you know, as we get into the next row. So yarn over twice. We're gonna do a front post stitch. So we're gonna go in between the stitches from the front and then go underneath that post and in between the next two stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through your final two. Okay, so now we're gonna do another back post stitch, yarn over twice, then go into the back of your work and put your hook in between the two stitches, put your hook over the post, and in between the next two stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two more. Okay, so let's do one more set before I set you off on this row and then we'll take a look at the next row together. <coughs> we'll do the last couple of stitches and then we'll take a, uh, a look at the next row together. So yarn over twice, we're gonna do our front post. We're gonna go into the front of the work, underneath the post of the stitch we're working on, and in between 
the word the in between that post and the next post yarn over pull through and up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two yarn over twice and let's do back so we're going to go into the back of the work and in between the two stitches go over the post and in between the next two stitches yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then yarn over and pull through the next two Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go on your own. If you need to rewind to just get a good idea of how those the front and back post stitches work, then please feel free to. But I'm gonna zoom on ahead and, to, and then we will meet up again at the end of this row. Welcome back and we are almost to the end of this row. You got a lot of texture going on now and I have two more stitches to do in the row and then I've gotta do the final stitch into the chain stitch. So we are on a back treble crochet, back post, one, two, wrap my yarn, then go in through the back and over the post and in between the two stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. Now our final post stitch for the row and this one is going to be a front post stitch, which is by chance what we started with. So yarn over twice, go in between from the front, go in between and under your post and in between the next stitch, that and the next stitch, pull yarn over, then pull up a loop. So you've got four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. Now finally we have our, these get a little bit twisty at the end of the row, but we have our chain here that we need to go into. We are not gonna do a post stitch here. We're just gonna yarn over and do a double crochet into the top of this chain. Okay, so now we are finished with this row. You really see the te texture, and it does kind of tighten up your row a little bit, so if you stretch it out, and then maybe if you block it, it'll match your other squares. Okay, so now we're gonna chain two, and we're gonna turn our work. Chain two. Okay, so on the last row, we started with the front post treble and then alternated from there. On this row, since we flipped our work and we want our posts to be, you know, protruding on the same sides, which means that if I turn my work, what was a front post treble on this side becomes a back post treble on the on the next side. Okay? So let's go ahead and start this row. Yarn over twice, then we're gonna go down in behind the work and over the post. We're gonna pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Now the next one is gonna be a, dub, a front post. So one, two for the treble crochet, then in between the posts, underneath, and in between the next two posts. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. So now you've got a back and a front post. Next up is another back post. Yarn over twice for the treble, Go through the two loop, the two posts, over that the post that you're working on, and through the next two loops. So then you want to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. 
Okay, so now you've got your chain on the end, your back post, front post, back post. Now we're gonna do a front post. So you put your hook into the front of your work in between the posts, under the post that you're working on, and in between that and the next post. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over twice. Okay, we're gonna go into the back loop, or into the back, so back behind your work, over the posts that you're working on and in between that and the next, the next post. Pull through a loop, so you've got four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. So we're gonna do, and you can really start to see it, and actually as you're doing your work, you see it feels like there's a lot more gas, but as you, your work really, um, uh, it really continues on, you'll see that there's not really that many gaps. It feels like it as you're working it, but there's not as many um, open gaps for, say, a child to get a finger through or something like that. So, but you're getting a whole lot of texture here. And I am gonna go ahead and do two more uh, stitches with you, and then you're gonna continue on to the end of this row. So yarn over twice. Go into the front and under the back of the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over twice, and go in between and over the post of the hook, you're, the post you're working on, then and in between the next two posts, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. Okay, let's go ahead and continue to the last couple of stitches. Welcome back, we are almost to the end of our row. So let's go ahead and finish up these last few stitches. So let's yarn over twice, then go, go in between the posts that you just worked and the posts that you're going to work and under that post and in between the posts that you are going to work next after this and the post that you're currently working. Yarn over, pull through and up a loop. So now you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two more. All right, so the last post stitch in this row is going to be um, a back post. So yarn over, go in front from the back of your work in between, and you might want to hold on to your yarn a little bit so it doesn't want to pull off your hook. And then go in between the post you were just working and the post that you're currently working. Then over that post and in between that and the next post. Then you want to yarn over, pull through a loop and up. So now you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull up, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over and pull through two. Now for the final stitch, for the final stitch, we need to go into the top of the chain stitch. So yarn over once, cause this is gonna be a double crochet. Go into the top of the chain stitch, yarn over, pull through and up a loop. So you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So now we are done with this row and it does start to curl up a little bit, but it'll relax as you're working with it. Um, only because this, this really just bunches up and everything. And then we are going to do, I think two more. I'm gonna start you off on your next row and then I'm gonna leave you to finish this next row and one more row after that and then we'll go on to the, the in-between, this section of the project. Okay, so let's go ahead and chain two and turn our work. So again, uh, we're matching these. So um, while this was a back double crochet, on this side, when you flip the work, it's now a, not, I'm sorry, I, I this was a, back post crochet on this side but when you flip your work 
it's now a front post crochet. So let's go ahead and yarn over twice, go in between the um, double crochet that we did in the last row and the post, then go under the post and in between that post and the next post. Yarn over, pull through, and up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over twice. Now we're gonna go into the back of our work in between the push you're just working on in your next post, over the stitch, then in between that and the next post. Yarn over, pull through and up a loop. Yarn over pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, and pull through two more. So yarn over twice, then go in between the last post you were working on and the next post, then go under the post you're working on currently, and in between that post and the next post, then yarn over, pull through and up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over twice. Then we're gonna go into the down into the back of the work and in between the posts going over your working post and back through between the posts. Yarn over, pull through and up a loop, leaving you with four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. All right, let's do this with two more stitches. Yarn over twice. This one's gonna be a front post. So we go down in between, from the front, in between the two posts and under the post you're working on. And then again, in between that and the next post. Yarn over, pull through and up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over twice. Okay, now we're gonna do back, so we need to go in down to the back of the work, over the loop that, you, that you're currently working on, and in between that and the next loop. Yarn over, pull through, and up a, lo up a loop, so you have four on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, and pull through two. Okay, so that, is the beginning of your third row. So I want you to finish out this row, chain two, and then do the next row. And I'm gonna meet you up at the end of the next row. So you'll have four post rows total, um, five rows including that first row of double crochet. I'm gonna go ahead and meet up with you then. Welcome back. We are at the end of that row and I said we were going to do one more row, but actually we are not going to. This is this is the last row before we start a double crochet. But if you take a look at this, I believe it is four total rows of posts. So you've got your original row. No, it's three total rows. So you get your original row of double crochet. You've got a row here, a front and back post, then a row here, a front and back post, and then this is our third row, a front, front and back post. So it's three total rows of that, and um, I apologize to keep things uh, square. This is gonna be our last row of front and back post, and then we'll do a couple of rows of double crochet, and then go back into the front and back post. So let me go ahead and finish out this row. So that's wrap around to uh, yarn over twice, and then go in from the back, over the post I'm working on, then between the next that and the next post, then pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. So uh, one more time, yarn over twice, go in between the previous post I was working on and the next post I'm going to work on. Underneath that post and before your final stitch, yarn over, pull through and up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. And then yarn over once for that final double crochet, go into the top of your chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. 
Okay, now from here, we are gonna go into the top of all these stitches and we are going to do double crochet, okay? So this is gonna create this kind of cleanser, cleanser row here, kind of like you're cleansing your palette. And the reason why I did these in short sections is to show you how it could end up being a cuff, something like a cuff, okay? Or used as a cuff. Um, you could use this for a whole blanket. Again, it'd be one heck of a yarn eater. Um, you could also do uh, some other some other motifs with it, with the front and back and po back post crochet. And even in our next uh, tutorial, we're going to be doing the basket weave, which is just front and back um, post crochet, and just in a, a specific pattern. So it ends up looking like a basket weave. In any case, let's go ahead and start with your first row of double crochet. Okay, so let's chain two, one, two, and then turn our work. Okay, we're not going to go into this first stitch just because we are counting this uh, chain two as a stitch, so we're not going to go into the first stitch. We, this are, these are all double crochets, so yarn over once. We're going to go into the next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So again, yarn over, go through the stitch, which these are pretty open because of all the pulling that we're doing with the front and back post. So put your hook through the stitch, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, pull through two. That was my, my cat knocking stuff over again. Um, again, yarn over, go through the stitch, yarn over, pull through and up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, one more time together, yarn over, go through the stitch, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. All right, so just continue on into every stitch across the whole thing, uh, including the, um, the final uh, chain stitch. So, uh, or the top of the chain rather, but I'll meet up with you before a couple of stitches before we get to the very end. All right, see you soon. Okay, we are almost to the end of our row of double crochet. Uh, we just have three more stitches left to go. So yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. So again, yarn over, go through the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. And finally, yarn over, go into the top of your chain stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. And that is the last of our double crochet row. Okay, we're going to do one more row of double crochet and then we're going to start into the front and back post stitches. <clears throat> so chain one, chain two, flip or work, then let's go ahead and double crochet all the way across the pot top, all the way across. I will meet up with you at the end. Okay, we're back to the end of our row and um, we just need to do two more stitches. So yarn over, go through your stitch, Pull, through, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, go into the top of your chain, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, then pull through two. Okay, so now we are at the where we start up with the next set of front and back posts. So remember it's three front and back post um, stitches, three rows of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and chain two, turn our work, then we're going to, now what I like to do when I'm doing these is I start uh, opposite of what it was on the bottom. So here, if you look, you see it's all back post on this first post, so I'm going to start with the front post here. So yarn over twice, go in between my two stitches and under that post that I'm working on. And then in between that stitch, that post, and then the next post I'll be working on. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. We yarn over twice. And again, uh, we're gonna go through the back of the work and over the post and in between that and the next post. We're gonna yarn over a hook, pull up a loop. And I missed that loop. So yarn over twice, I'm gonna do this again. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, go through the back of the work and over the loop or the post that I'm working on then through the neck the net that and the next post then pull through and up a loop then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two okay so let's go ahead and do another front post let's yarn over twice go in between the two posts and under the back post I'm working on yarn over pull through two, pull through and up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then yarn over and pull through two yarn over twice go into the back of my work and over the post in between that and the next post yarn over and pull through and up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over twice go in between and under the post yarn over pull through and up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then yarn over and pull through two um, so you should have four or I'm sorry this that's your fifth post stitch so we're gonna do one more together and then we're gonna uh, um, I will meet up with you at the end of the row so yarn over twice go through the back of the work and over the loop you want to work on then pull through and up a loop with leaving you four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay so go ahead and continue with your alternating post stitches and I will meet up with you at the end of this row back we are at the, almost at the end of this next row and um, I just have a few more stitches left, so let's go ahead and finish them together. Yarn over twice. This is gonna be a back post crochet, so I'm gonna go through the back and over the post. Um, yarn over, pull through and up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. Next one's a front post, yarn over twice. Go through the front, the, between the two posts in the front of the thing and go, uh, the front of the project and go under the post. Yarn over, pull through and up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over and pull through two. And finally, the final, <clears throat> put the final stitch of the row. Yarn over once for the double crochet. Go into the top of the chain. Yarn over, pull through and up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two then yarn over and pull through two. Now I'm gonna chain two and flip my work. Okay, so remember um, what I was saying down at the bottom, down here, we want to, while it, it was a front post, the front post on this side, when the work is flipped, it becomes a back post. So we want, because we wanna keep it the same as we go on the same size otherwise you end up with like an interlocking interlocking weave type of look which is a great look just not what I'm trying to accomplish for this particular project so we're gonna start with the back loop yarn over go through the back of my work and over the post I'm working on then yarn over pull through and up a loop and you know what I almost did a double post crochet it's actually treble so yarn over twice go through the back of my work and over the post then yarn over, pull through and up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. All right, so next is the front post. Yarn over twice. Go under the post I'm working on. Yarn over, pull through and up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, 
pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. I'm gonna go ahead and let you finish out this row and the next row on your own. Then we're gonna come back to this double crochet section. So do this row plus one more row and then we'll be back to the double crochet. I will meet you up at the end of the next row. So do this row, which is front and back post alternating and do one more row front and back post alternating treble crochets and I will meet up, to, up with you at the end of that row. Welcome back and I am at my final two stitches on that last row of post crochets before I start in with the double crochet again. So let's go ahead and do those last two stitches together. Let's yarn over twice and then this is a front post so I'm going to go down in between from the front in between the two posts underneath the post I'm working on yarn over pull through and up a loop that leaves me with four loops with four loops on my hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then yarn over and pull through two okay so now I just need to double crochet into that last that top of that chain so yarn over once go into the top of the chain yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two then yarn over and pull through two all right so next we're going to go ahead and do two rows of double crochet so chain two one two flip your work sorry i hit the I hit the camera right there all right so we yarn over once we don't go into this first stitch we go into the next one so put go under both loops on the hook or loops in the stitch yarn over pull through and up a loop yarn over pull through two then yarn over and pull through two yarn over once since we're doing a row of double crochet go through your stitch yarn over and pull through and up a loop yarn over pull through two then yarn over and pull through two one more time yarn over go through your stitch yarn over pull through and up a loop yarn over pull through two then yarn over and pull through two all right so let's go ahead and i will go ahead to the end of the row and i will meet meet up with you at the end so i'm almost to the end of my next row of my next section of double the first row of this section <laughs> which is a row of double crochet and I need to do two more stitches so yarn over oops yarn over go through the stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two then yarn over pull through two in the final stitch yarn over go through the top of the chain yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two then yarn over and pull through two so let's chain two flip our work and go do double crochet through all of these as well and i will meet up with you at the end okay so we're we are at the end of the the final three few stitches of the end of the double crochet rows so yarn over pull <clears throat> yarn over put your hook through your stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two then yarn over and pull through two again yarn over go through your stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two then yarn over and pull through two and your final double double crochet yarn over go into the top of your uh, chain yarn over pull through and up a loop yarn over pull through two then yarn over and pull through two now we're gonna do our final um, our final bit of front and back post crochet so uh, this will be your final three rows and then we're done with this project so let's go ahead and do a couple together let's chain up two one two and flip our work so again uh we we have this first set is back double or the back post crochet so i'm going to start up here with the front post yarn over twice for the treble crochet put your hook through the front and through 
your post, under the post you're working on, and through the, that and the next post. Yarn over, pull through and up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. Let's do the next post. This one's going to be a back post. So yarn over twice, go to the back of the work, through the post, over the post you're working on, through that and the next post. Yarn over, pull through and up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. So next one is a front post. Yarn over twice, go through the front of your work in between the posts and under the post you're working on and through that and the next post. Yarn over, pull through and up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. So yarn over twice, go to the back of your work and over the post you're working on and then through that and the next post. Yarn over, pull through and up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So let's just do two more and then I'm actually going to let you go through to the end of your work. So you only do this this row plus two more, more rows and they're all front and back post stitches. Um, so let's go ahead and do these next two stitches and then I'm gonna let you go on your own until the end of the work. Yarn over twice, <coughs> excuse me, and then put your work through the front of your, <coughs> your hook through the front of your work and under the post you're working on. Then yarn over, pull through and up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. Right, so yarn over twice, then go into un be behind your work and through the two posts, over the post you're working on and through that and the next post. Yarn over, pull through and up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. <clears throat> okay. So that's where we're at on the next set of front and back post stitches. Let's go ahead and finish out this row. Do two more rows, do two more rows, and then I will meet you up at the end of that third row, and which will also be the end of your work, or this, this particular piece of cloth. So I will meet with you then. You'll, we'll do a couple more stitches together, and then we'll finish off the work. Welcome back and we are to the last four stitches of our entire square. So let's go ahead and finish up the stitches and then finish up our square. <clears throat> Yarn over twice. We're doing a front, po front post treble crochet. So go through the front and under the post we're working on. Yarn over, pull through and up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. Now we're doing a back post, that's yarn over twice. Then go through the back of your cloth and over the post that you're working on. Then yarn over, pull through and up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. So now we're doing um, a front post that's yarn over twice. Go through the front of your cloth and under the post you're working on. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through two. Now for the final stitch, which is a double crochet, yarn over, go through the top of your chain yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, pull through two. Now let's go ahead and set, um, fasten off my work. I'm making that a little bit longer and I'll show you why here in a minute. Now um, let's go ahead and weave in our ends. Okay, um, since this is a 
you know, front and back posts, it's hard to really get um, our stitches worked straight through. So what I like to do is work down to this row where I can work my stitches straight through. So I'm gonna go through the stitches on the end. You know, just work through them until I can get to this last little bit here. I'm gonna put my yarn through my loop here. My band-aid's in the way. That's where I uh, actually broke my nail past the quick. So I've had to wear this for a while so I don't accidentally snag it and really hurt myself. All right, so I'm gonna pull my yarn down the stitch pull on a little bit so it doesn't look too messy. Now I'm going to feed this through these loops right here. So I'm going to go through at least, let's see here, five, six stitches it looks like. Okay. Like I said, this front and back post, doing it the alternating way like I have been doing, it's real popular when you're creating a cuff. Um, usually you want to do two or three rows of the front and back post. And um, I, I would actually do double rather than treble. Um, and then that can create the um, front or back cuff, whichever you need for your work. There's a messy, messy bun hat uh, pattern that uses it that I have done myself. So feed that through again. Let's do this two more times. So it's really secure in there. And then we'll snip off our yarn and do the bottom. The bottom we don't have to feed through and that's because um, where you're feeding it through where uh, you made the loops on the chain. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and snip my yarn. And let's do the bottom here. So if you take a look at the bottom, you see where I can feed it through these loops right here. That's where it went into the chain. So that is what I'm going to do. So while I'm doing this, if you found that this stitch tutorial is um, value added for your stitch repertoire, or if you like my other videos, don't forget to hit um, like on this video and subscribe and hit that bell button so that you are reminded each time I put out a new video. On Wednesdays, I like to post out um, things like yarn hauls, reviews of crochet type product projects or products, and um, uh, other tutorials for other things, not the stitch studies. And then on Fridays, I like to post out the stitch studies, and I'm just going to keep on posting stitch studies until I run out of stitches to do. And um, and that, that happens once a week. Uh, the stitch studies are a little bit more consistent. The, right now the reviews and yarn hauls and everything are pretty consistent, but they won't always be consistent. Sometimes I'll miss those. If I miss anything, that's the ones I'm going to miss uh, before my stitch studies. So this is the last time I'm pulling this through. And once again, if you are enjoying this stitch study series you know actually it's a little bit too small I think I'm just gonna go ahead and snip it off there um, if you're enjoying this series don't forget to give this video a like go check out other other um, other videos in the series and uh, check out some other videos I have on my channel and like all of them if you can like them if you'd like them if you don't like them don't hit the thumbs up if you don't like them up to you but here is our cloth. So you've got this, this ribbing type material. 
And then this, let's see, isn't that nifty? Okay, so that is it for this week's stitch study series. Next week, we are gonna go ahead and do the basket weave stitch and just give you a little preview. This is what it looks like. Again, we're gonna be using front and back post stitches, but we're gonna be using it in a different pattern, so it creates something very different. This is a pretty well-known um, stitch here. Uh, again, it's another yarn eater, and it really, it makes the cloth a little bit stiff. So the more you wash it, the looser it gets, but it makes it a little bit stiff because it's just bunching all the all the stitches together and creating this cloth. So that's the, the basket weave stitch. We're gonna learn that. And I, I mistakenly referred to it in a previous video as the waffle stitch. That is not what it is, it's the basket weave. I think what we'll do is the week after we do the basket weave, we'll do the waffle stitch. And then we'll go from there. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and say goodbye. And thank you so much for visiting me here on Hook to the Left. Have a great day.